WPTV. Welcome back to the desk. The men's and women's basketball teams are absolutely ready to rock the NJAC tournament here to break down all the future shellackings. We have a wonderful <laughs> WP basketball crew, including Jimmy Patton, Cal Ritchie, Ryan Sudol, and Danny Anos. Jimmy, we're going to go to you first. The Pioneer women team had a great win on their senior night last Saturday. We saw Brianna Brooks and Sierra Strong get celebrated. Let's just go through that game. What did you see? It was a clutch, it was a clutch win for us that clinched our, our uh, pl home playoff game in the NJAC tournament. It absolutely was a huge win. I had the privilege of being on the call for that one. We're going to take a quick look at some of the highlights here of this game. A great overall team effort. We're going to take a look at a little bit of the defensive effort. Got a little bit of steal. Precious Ala is going to bring up the court there. Now we're in swing possession. Victoria Paladino is going to dump off pass over the shoulder. Justina Cabezas, she's a threat inside all day. Brianna Brooks, great to have her back. A little up and under with the right hand, using her left hand on the dribble. Nice to see her back and healthy. Kiana Vigo, a little catch and shoot action here from the three ball. That really iced it late. And Justina Cabezas, we all know about her mid-range game. Absolutely butter money anytime she gets in around the elbow. We're going to see her a little some ball handling here. She'll get and one. That got the Pioneers going. Huge victory for Brianna Brooks and Sierra Strong. And as a result, the Pioneers get to host an NJAC playoff game. Doesn't get any better than that. Cal? Yeah, I thought Justina Cambasis played fantastic in this game. She had 21 points and four rebounds. You know, she is so good at controlling the game, taking care of business, and getting to the line and making their free throws. You know, William Patterson, they're second in the NJAC in three throw percentages. So I think playing consistent is, is fantastic for them. Ryan? They were consistent from the field as well. 50% from the field as well as 3 of 5 from 3 points. I've said multiple times I'd like to see them up their 3-point shooting game as in more shots attempted, but still they were efficient. And also, Brooks, so good to have her back. 11 and 5, 5 of 6 on free throws. Like you said, Cal, free throws are the key to the Pioneers' success this year. Danny? Like I said last week, it was a low-scoring affair, and the Lady Pioneers came up with the dub. And they really put out the clamps. Uh, 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 TCNJ came out with 30% from the field, 31% from three. I, according to my calculation as the accounting resident in accounting here, uh, they shot a lot of bricks, like Ryan, <laughs> said, like Ryan said. They shot very efficiently. They were the more aggressive team, and that's why they came out with the win. Now, keeping it with you, Danny, the regular season is coming to a close, and, you know, we got the NJAC tournament game Tuesday against Ramapo. What do you think the Pioneers have to do to advance and get that victory? You should expect a very close matchup between these two teams tomorrow. If we could take a look at the stats right here, uh, Ramapo is 10 and 11. Uh, William Patterson is 12 and 10. 68 points per game for Ramapo, 64 for William Patterson. Ramapo cleans up on the board with 46 per game, 41 for William Patterson. Turnovers, 19 for Ramapo, 17 and a half for William Patterson. And three point percentage, 30% for Ramapo, and 30, essentially 30% for William Patterson. And like I said before, the key for me is they have to limit Ramapo on the turnovers. And I mean, not the turn. They have to limit them on the rebounding because Rambo is a force on the glass. They, they're second in the NJAC with rebound, offensive rebounds, and they lead the NJAC in rebounding margin. And if they're able to take away those extra positions and those second chance opportunities, they'll come up with the win. Right. Uh, they need to limit turnovers, as you started to say. <laughs> um, uh, the Pioneers do because um, the last the, the last two games that they played against Rambo Poe were one possession games, each of them. And if, you, if they give up that turnover margin, then it could spell a loss for the Pioneers, so they need to be very, very careful. Cal? Uh, I think the key for me is staying consistent on the defensive end. I feel like this team has played so disciplined all season, and if they can stay consistent on the defensive end, they can use their defense and turn it into offense, get some points up, and I think they can take care of business if they do that. Jimmy? I'm going to take it over to guard play. We know the consistency of Brianna Brooks and Justina Cabezas. They feed off each other. But Yakira Rosa, Paladino, Bree Smith coming off the bench, if they can hit some perimeter shots, defend the perimeter, get out to fast break, make it easier for everyone around them, get out in space, if they have a good game, you know J Cabezas and Brooks are going to show up. If they can do their thing on the defensive end, offensive end, it's going to be a big win victory against Grandma Powell. Now switching sides, the men's team it seems to be hitting their stride. Got a big, big victory on the road against Keene a couple weeks uh, last week, last Wednesday. Ryan, we'll go to you first. From that game, who do you think was the biggest player that had the biggest outcome in the Pioneers winning? It is the biggest player. It's Evans Montfleury. Let's take a look what he had in that game. He had 12 points, three rebounds, a block, a steal, and 71% from the field. He's 14 of 18 in his last three games. He was 30% from the field prior. He is hitting his stride at the right time um, because they're about to go into the NJAC tournament. Huge player. Cal? Uh, I think the biggest player for the, for the Pioneers in that game is Dominion. The Dominator, as I like to call him. Let's take a peek at those stats, why don't we? He had 16 points. Six assists, he was 50% from the field, 50% from three-pointer, and he shot 87% from the free throw line. I mean, he's just this team leader he's been since day one. He's second in the NJAC in scoring, and he's first in the NJAC in minutes played. When he's playing well, the team's playing well. Danny? Well, for me, some more, I have to go with Cesar Silvestro. The sophomore transfer had himself a game. He had 13 points, five rebounds, 18 minutes off the bench, 
three-point percentage, 50%, 56% from the field. He was an efficiency lord out there and took the pressure off Yvins Monflori and Dominion. Jimmy, close this up. Who you got? I'm going to take it over to one of the unsung heroes on the team. Michael Gilmore played absolutely fantastic in this game. Very efficient, shooting four for five in this game. That equivalents to 80%. Eight points, five boards, two steals. That's when you're doing your, you know, you know, we all play 2K. That's like a good teammate grade. So two steals, get some <laughs> rebounds. You know, you help your team victory in the 19 minutes. That's doing your job. I would say A plus grade for Michael Gilmore. I give he's, it to him. He, he's, always in, he's always in the mix there for the Pioneers. And keeping it with the men's team, Jimmy, there's nothing like playing your rival in the playoff game, right? Oh, yeah. I mean, Yankees, Red Sox, we saw 49ers, Rams this season. We are going to be playing Montclair State University this Tuesday. Jimmy, we're 1-1 one one this season against them. What do you expect from this game? You know, we beat them in their house. They beat us here. We're going on the road to travel on Route 46. We're going to Montclair. Hopefully they can pull it out. We're going to take a little look at what the Pioneers need to do well in their matchup at home against Montclair State. You saw them get out in transition here. You see Dominion. We know how explosive he is in the ball. Really nice pass down low. Two seasons, Silvestro. Domino, we know the scoring, the passing is on point. A little kick out. Adrian Lopez for three. That's absolutely beautiful shot right there. They can control the perimeter shooting. That's going to be nasty. And speaking of nasty, Silver Silvestro, get out of here, ball. If the Pioneers play defense like that, get out in space, open shots for uh, role players, it's going to be a nice victory, and they'll move on in the tournament. Cal? I think, yeah, I think I agree with Jimmy. Uh, controlling the game, playing your tempo, and making sure you don't get inside your own head. Because I think if, you, if we don't jump out early, I think we can, we can reel it back in. But I think we just need to stay consistent, stay focused on playing our game, and I think we'll be good. Right. I hate to be redundant, but Evans Montfleury, they ha he didn't have a good game in either of the games against Montclair State this year. I didn't even think he played in the first one, actually, now that so I think either. about it. Yeah, he came in late. But that first game, he had a brutal affair. But now he's really getting really good, and they brought him on the team to come through in these types of situations. I think he is the key. Danny, close this up. Well, for me, some more, like Jimmy said, they split the season matchup. And honestly, in those two matchups, I thought the aggressive team won. And in terms of, like, stats, both these teams lead the NJAC in assists and steals. So whoever is able to execute their sets and not succumb to the pressure should come up with the dub. It's going to be very interesting, gentlemen, to see what happens next Tuesday. We're going to recap it next Friday. Look out for Adrian Lopez, <clears throat> Jaden Cepeda, guys like that, Michael Gilmore especially. Look out for guys like that to have a big impact this Tuesday. But as... Our, both of our partner basketball teams enter the most crucial part of the season. The baseball team is just getting started. Keep it locked as we transition from the hardwood to the diamond, only here on WP Sports Desk.